Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where we've got Fog of War today in the form of Cosmic Balance by Neurator. Uh, and after yesterday, where we did a puzzle that had a bit of spiral galaxies to it, we have another spiral galaxy type constraint going on in this one, and we're going to have to somehow use it to reveal what's going on behind the fog. If you're not used to Fog of War Sudokus, you're in for an absolute treat. The idea is that we use the logic in the white cells to deduce digits. And if, if, say, we got this digit and we put it in and it was correct, it would clear the fog from the surrounding cells. So you sort of earn your way to future elements of the puzzle. Um, it's, yeah, it's an absolute treat. And apparently this is a wonderful puzzle. So we're going to have a look at this in a moment or two's time. But speaking of spiral galaxies from yesterday, yesterday I gave a shout out to Bobble Bardsley, who wrote the... Um, the, the rules to the previous day's puzzle in verse, and it was absolutely sensational. Now, Bobble Barsley has said they won't do this every day, but they've done it for yesterday's puzzle as well. So if you if you did, or if you, even if you haven't had a look at Doppler Effect by Nicholas, which is a sensationally good puzzle, um, I'm going to read you the rules to this puzzle as, as, um, as they should be. So here we go. To fill the grid, regard the Doppler shift of distant spiral galaxies that drift and spin within the inky nighttime sky with rules to tell you where their arms must lie. Each galaxy remains, you'll surely learn, symmetrical when spun through a half turn. A further rule must always be obeyed. Orthogonal connections must be made. A pair of regions must be rightly placed, adhering to these guidelines boldly faced. No galaxy may increase to accrue all four cells lying in a two by two. The grid in full must occupy this map, yet only in one cell they overlap. The cell in row and column numbered fifth. The galaxies are different in their shift. One galaxy, its Doppler shift is blue, has values adding one less to each clue. One galaxy, its Doppler shift in red, has values counting for one more instead. Each cage's total indicates the sum of values which its contained cells become. No digit twice into a cage may fit, but shifted values may, if sums permit. The values which on arrowed lines you place must sum to match the value at its base, and finally, the rule that never shocks. In every column, every row and box, there must appear the digits one to nine, with no repeats in any box or line. With such a grid and regions red and blue, Doppler's effects, Doppler effects solutions. Sa ah, Doppler effects solution will be true. Sorry, I couldn't read that last line under under whatever Mavavi has put uh, 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 at the bottom of my screen. But that is that is just. It's so clever. It's so clever to, to, to do it that well. It would be quite easy to do it poorly, but that is not poor. That's really exceptional. So, um, Bobble Barsley, thank you again. Feel free to do that whenever you like and entertain those who frequent the comments on the videos. I'm sure that they and I will enjoy it. Um, now, what else have I got to tell you about? There's a couple of things. Hex cells. We are streaming again. We're going to return to hex cells. We've got a few levels of hex cells plus left. And uh, then we will move on to infinity hex cells or something. Um, and that's going to be Wednesday at 10 p.m. UK time. We'd love to have your company for that. Over on Patreon, we've got Rift Clown Sudoku Hunt, the gallery. The gallery is open. Here is the gallery. Oh, I'm in, my, I'm in a different place on my screen today. There we go. The Sudoku gallery is open. Do have a look at the puzzles. If you get stuck, remember that over on the fan Discord server, there is a Patreon only chat channel that you get access to. Lots of people exchange ideas there. Uh, I'll say no more. Uh, and I've got some birthdays to do. So let's say happy birthday to Angel from your wife, Audrey. Uh, apparently, Angel is a very smart person, a natural problem solver, great at singing, guitar, ping pong, and knitting, no less. And I've got a picture. Have I got a picture? Yeah, I've got a picture, I'm sure. Here is the two of them who I think only got married uh, a couple of months ago after being together for six years and um, she's never been happier. So Angel, you are doing something right in life, my friend. I hope you have a brilliant birthday today with, of course, lots and lots of chocolate cake. Um, and next, Jared has turned 17 today. And Jared, um, well, Jared demanded that we never stop making videos. Well, that would be 
That would be something I think both Mark and I would be quite keen to never stop making them. That would imply some sort of lengthy life as well. Um, lengthy life with compass mentis and being compass mentis. Um, Jared, we'll do our best. And I hope today is a good day for you with chocolate cake, of course. And then finally, Julian, who watches every day. Um, and Julian, I know it's your birthday because your wife, Brittany, wrote to us and said you'd appreciate a shout out. So many happy returns. I hope your day is full of sugar. Now, let's turn our attention to cosmic balance. Let's read the rules that narrator has. Uh, I've done a narrator puzzle before. It was very good, if I remember rightly. Um, Anyway, these are the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we've got to put the digits one to nine once each in every row, every column, and in every three by three box. The grid is covered in fog. Placing correct digits reveals clues in the surrounding three by three area. Digits separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. Uh, oh, I can't actually see any of those. So imagine these two cells were separated by a black dot. I won't put the digits in large in case one of these happens to be right, but imagine this was a two and these two were, were separated with a black dot between them. Then this digit would either be one in order to be because two is double one, or it would be four because four is double two. So one of those digits would be double the other. Uh, that's what digits being in a one to two ratio means. Uh, digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. So that seems to be telling us something about this digit. I think that's going to be a five or a seven in order to be consecutive with six. Not all dots are given. So what's that saying is that uh, if this square here was a one, this could absolutely be a two and not have a dot there. We just know positive information about these cells, for example. There must be a consecutive relationship in these two cells. Um, right, digits in big white circles are quadruple clues by the looks of it and must appear in the surrounding four cells. So actually we're being told the, the contents of this quadruple at the top. This, these four digits must be one, three, four and six. Ah, and look, there's, a, there's one there as well. There must be a four in this foursome. Uh, Oh, and digits in a grey circle must be odd. Oh, there's, there's many more rules. Hang on, I've just scrolled and the rules have just revealed loads more. Digits in a grey circle must be odd. I can't see any of those. Um, right, here's the spiral galaxy. Divide the grid into galaxies, which are orthogonally connected groups of cells that have 180 degree rotational symmetry about their centres um, and do not overlap with other galaxies. All cells must be part of a galaxy. The digits in each galaxy do not repeat and sum up to oh sum up to twenty seven. Digits in each galaxy do not repeat and sum sum up to twenty seven. So all galaxies add up to twenty seven. I hadn't I hadn't picked up on that when I read the rules before I turned on the webcam. Um, all circular clues, dots, quads, and grey circles are centres of galaxies, and all centres of galaxies contain a circular clue. Okay, so let's just deal with what this means. Um, let's imagine, can I, um, let's imagine this was a galaxy. How should we do this? Uh, and this, there was some sort of circular clue between these, these two cells. What does it mean about this orthogonally connected and rotationally symmetric um, stuff? Well, for two cells to be orthogonally connected, they must share an edge. So it's not permissible to grow the galaxy by adding just this cell to the galaxy and therefore that one by rotational symmetry because this galaxy is no longer rotationally symmetric. Well, sorry, orthogonally connected. It is rotationally symmetric, but it's not orthogonally connected because this cell does not share an edge with the rest of the group. So we could add that cell in and that would mean this cell as well because I'm saying this is the center of the galaxy. That would that would be a legitimate shape, I think. Um, yeah, and the, and the 180 degree rotational symmetry is just saying that you have to imagine the galaxy spins round a half turn and it should map onto exactly the same cells. And what that tells you, if we add this cell to the galaxy, so imagine we spun the galaxy round half a turn, that cell would obviously be in the same galaxy to so make sure this is rotationally symmetrical. And then if we spun it a half turn from here, you can see it maps to itself. So it is rotationally symmetric. Um, and that seems to be all the rules. So the main thing we're going to have to remember is that the digits in each galaxy do not repeat and they sum to 27 all the time. Um, do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now 
I get to play. Let's get cracking. Let's immediately write one, three, four, and six in there. We may as well take the low hanging fruit. We'll add five and seven to this one. We know there's a four in this one. We know there's a, is that a one? I think it's a one. There's a one. Oh, I don't really want to make that pencil mark. My corner, corner pencil marks I make in the puzzles are almost always box logic. If I put a one in one of those, I'm not saying there's a one in one of these two cells in this box, am I? I'm saying there's a one in one of those four cells across those two boxes. And that's a that's a concept that I try to avoid. Uh, so hang on, what do I, I can't do anything. Oh, I see, I've got to build galax I've got to build galaxies, right? Oh, OK, well, let's do that then. So. Yes, spiral galaxies. So one one little tip for spiral galaxies, whenever you get um, Whenever you get a part of a galaxy that cannot extend in a particular direction, you can always look at the rotational symmetric point in that galaxy and make the same sort of conclusion. So look, these two cells at the top, we can't, we can't extend the galaxy north, can we? And therefore, could this cell ever be part of this galaxy? No, because if that's part of the galaxy, there's a cell outside the grid that needs to be part of the galaxy. So we can immediately do that. Now, so far, we've got uh, 14 by the looks of it in this galaxy. And we need, what do we need to get to? 27. So the galaxy is definitely going to grow. Yeah, and it's only going to grow a bit. Yeah, that's interesting, actually. Uh, it can't. What, what I was wondering is where it went next. And so if it goes here, it's obviously going to go there. If it goes there, it's obviously going to go there. Could it take both of these cells? Well, no, because then it would take both of these cells and those cells together are eight different digits. And you can't make eight different digits only add up to 27 in Sudoku because the triangular number for eight is 36. If you add up one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight, you get 36. Um, and that is more than 27. So, so this, this galaxy at the top it's either that shape or that shape, but I don't know if I'm meant to know which one. Let's try this galaxy, because I can see um, this galaxy is in a different galaxy to this one. Maybe we'll use colors, actually. Let's let's do colors, shall we? That's going to be a little bit, um, it's going to be quite beautiful. We can do some good coloring. So again, we can draw this boundary in, this boundary in, this having a boundary on its east side means that that must be the boundary in this row uh, on the west side of this this combination here right and this uh, this arrangement down here this is a different galaxy isn't it because that's what we're told we're told that the circles are the centers of their own galaxies so here we can draw this in and this in that ah look at this so the sort of the southwest border of this blue domino now is cannot extend. So neither can the northeast border. Ah, ah, yeah, OK. And we know that that doesn't add up to 27. So so we can definitely extend that slightly. Sorry, that's totally and utterly obvious, um, which means we can do that and that and that and that. Well, can we make four different? Yes, we can. We can make four different digits add up to 27 especially as these are already quite high because the maximum four digits can add up to is 30. So that's, uh, but okay, but this, oh, that's gorgeous. Right, so this yellow galaxy down here has a four in it. Oh no, it's not, it isn't gorgeous. I'm wrong. I did my maths wrong in my brain, naughty brain. Oh, in fact, in fact, I was I totally I was totally wrong with where I was going with this. Right, because let's turn our attention to the green galaxy. Now, but because we can put the opposite opposite pencil mark to this or this border in the rotation of symmetrical point must also be bordered. You can see that again, this needs to grow, doesn't it? So it's going to grow like that at least, and that has um, forced this to be a box. And we know this box adds up to 27 and it's got a four in it. So now I know these digits. They must be four, six, eight and nine. That's it. Because the only way of making three different numbers add up to 23 in Sudoku is if they are six, eight and nine. 
Right. Okay, I like this so far. This is very, very cool. Now, no comments. No comment. I'm a very good judge of cool when it comes to Sudoku. Admittedly, not in real life, but in Sudoku. It's <laughs> in Sudoku, I know my onions sometimes. Um, hmm. What does that mean? I think. Well, this is a galaxy, isn't it? A b b but it might be a bigger galaxy. Although it probably, no, this one has to be a bigger galaxy because it's got a one in it. That one is weirdly placed, actually. It's in the top right hand um, cell of the quadruple. Yeah, normally you'd expect the low digit to be in the top left hand corner, but okay. Um, that's why, I, well, I hope I am reading that correctly. It's possible. I've got my right glasses on. I've got my right glasses on, yeah. Okay. Um, I still haven't cleared any fog, have I? Oh, I see. Right, that cell. How can that not be in the blue galaxy? Let's just think about that. I, I don't. I think that's just going to fail, isn't it? Because I have to find a rotational. I have to find the center of this galaxy, and the only place you could, if if this is in the galaxy, I'd have to have a galaxy that looks something like that, wouldn't I? And then this could be the center of it. I might, I might have made it a bit a bit too something like that, maybe. Oh no, that is that's still the wrong length. No, it, it, I think I did have it right first time. Um, so this is the centre of that galaxy, but that is a massive galaxy. That is a 10-cell galaxy. So there's no, I don't think there's any way that this can be not in the blue region. Yeah, that's, that, it's just impossible. So that's, oh, so that's in the blue galaxy, which means that's in the blue galaxy. Now the blue galaxy can't grow any more than that, because if it grows another cell, it will be 8 big. And we've already looked at why that doesn't work. So we can do that and that and now these three cells are in the same galaxy uh oh oh no that's okay i suddenly thought i'd made a boo-boo but no that's fine isn't it because I'd, I'd, i'm not saying that these are one side of the rotational symmetry so it's not like it has to be a six cell galaxy it could well it probably can't be a four cell galaxy now um because i don't think it's going to add up to enough yeah the maximum these can add up to is 15. And I can't make this a 12. So this this is a five cell galaxy of exactly those proportions. Um, and probably, can we say something about, I mean, if these were 12, these still have to be 15 without using a seven. So these would be six and nine. Do we, do we know whether there's a seven in here? Maybe that's a good question. If there was no seven, five, three, and two is 10. Oh, these could be an eight, nine pair bobbins. Hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that's a, that's a galaxy. That's some, there's some galaxy. I think I'm going to have to start repeating colors. So there's a galaxy coming up here. Oh, but that could be no, no. Hang on, because we every every cell has to be in a galaxy. I'm very, very. I'd be very surprised if this. Oh no, actually, no. I I would be very surprised if this isn't in this purple galaxy. I'm not. I'm not definitively stating that that is the case yet, but I think it's likely. Because this red galaxy has to take one of these squares. Yeah, I mean, what? In fact, what would what on earth would happen if that red galaxy took this square? We know it can't be eight cells, so this square has to be part of another galaxy that is rotationally symmetric. But it's going to bump into the purple galaxy, and that is going to render it into a walking stick. And that is not a rotationally symmetrical item. So that cannot be red. These have to be red. And now. Well, this has to grow. Three cells is not enough to make 27. So wherever it grows, it's going to pen in this cell. If it grows here, it pens it in. If it grows here, it pens it in. So that cell is definitely purple and their purple has to get out. And now this can't grow because to take these cells would make it not rotationally symmetrical. So that's very, very nice setting. 
Look, we've got loads of we've got loads of galaxies and still no actual digits. It's really clever. It's actually really clever that it's keeping its secrets. Now those are yellow. That means that could be yellow. Look, that's quite likely. It may not be a. Uh, oh, that's a possibility, isn't it? That would allow this to escape. Okay, but do I know what these digits are now? These ah yes I do. I do actually. Because these two digits have to add up. They do have to add up to thirteen and they can't use the four or the six, so they are a five eight pair. <laughs> of course that's not actually helpful, but that's still something, isn't it? We must know what these three digits add up to now, using a secret that I only tell my very favourite people. But if you're watching this video, yes, of course you're one of my favourite people. The secret is that any complete row, any complete column, and any complete box of a Sudoku, by the rules of Sudoku, contains the digits 1 to 9 once each. If you add up the digits 1 to 9, you get 45. So if I know those 9 cells add up to 45, but I know these purple cells add up to 27, 27 and 6 is 33, these add up to 12. Now, if they add up to 12, they must have a 7 in them, mustn't they? Because otherwise they'd only be 5, 3, 2 at maximum, and that's only 10. So there is a 7 in here, there is no 7 there anymore. And if they add up to 12, they can't be the 7 and the 5. So there is no 5 in here, because the other digit would have to be a 0. So now that's weird. So actually there's only one way of doing it. It's 2, 3, 7 apparently. Uh, that, that's very peculiar. So this has become a 1, 5 pair. Um, is that useful or not? So they add up to 6. So these three digits add up to 21. That is useful. That is useful. That gives me this digit, doesn't it? Doesn't this have to be 7? I'm going to double check that. Because if this is 6, I've got to get 27 into the galaxy. So these three squares add up to 21. If I put 2 or 3 here, these are adding up to either 19 or 18. I can't make two Sudoku digits add up to 18 even. Even, well, double nine would work, but obviously that will break Sudoku. So I think I'm going to get my first. Yes, it did do something. Oh, well, that's wrong. <laughs> Although it doesn't really matter, but there's nothing in there. But I suppose we did know that was four, six, eight, nine. So that's not, that's not that, that critical. Um, right, now what does this add up to then? This adds up to 13, so this adds up to 14 and doesn't use 5. So this is a 6-8 pair. That's about as useful as a chocolate teapot, isn't it? Okay, let's try this galaxy then. We've got 11 there, so we need 16 here. If that's a 7, that's a 7 by the powers of Sudoku. Neurator, how can you make me do Sudoku? 23 minutes into your Sudoku puzzle and you're already bringing out the Sudoku and making me do it. Typical. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm sure we can do something here. So what have we got? We've got a 16. Okay, so if this was 7, these have to add up to 9. And they couldn't be... Oh, they could be 1, 8 or 4, 5, I think. Okay, what if that's 5? Then these are 11. That's more restricted. This would have to then be 4, 7. Uh, okay, so there is a 7. Yes, I think that's right. So either this is itself a 7, in which case that's a 7, or this is a 5, and these two have to add up to 11 by maths. Just Let me just double check that that is true. Yeah. And if these have to add up to 11, they couldn't be 5, 6, they couldn't be 2, 9, they couldn't be 3, 8. So there is a 7 in here, and if there is a 7 in there, that cell is a 7, yeah. Okay, good. And that's given me another, that's quite interesting, because that's a 6 or an 8 by the white dot. In fact, that's a new, that's a new galaxy as well, but there's a 6, 8 pair here, so these don't include 6. There's a 6 in one of these two squares, which means there's no 6 here. Okay, well, apparently that doesn't do anything. But we do learn this is a galaxy center. So actually we're going to get the whole of this galaxy because it can't be bigger than six, can it? We've worked that out already. 
Now, ooh, no, that could be green. If it's not green, we're going to have something like that, aren't we? Wow. What's slightly surprising at this point? Oh, I, I've got something else, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be terribly useful, but I have got something else. This can't add up to 27 on its own because it's got a one in it. And the maximum the other three digits could be would be seven, eight and nine. And they would only add up to 24. And it, so that's not going to work. Um, so this grows. Now, it can't grow north because it can't be rotationally symmetrical around the circle. So it must grow here and it must grow here. And once it's done that growing, that is the end of its growth spurt. And it's not allowed to grow any larger than that. So these two both become purple. And actually, that's useful. Now, that's green because it can't be a one cell region. So that's green. And that's the maximum extent, extent of the greenliness in this grid. Let's, let's ring that one as well. Um, which has given us the start of another galaxy coming out of here. Now, what color should we use? We could go light. Mm, it's not brilliant. I'm going to go black. No, I, sh I should use a different color. Let's go blue again. We might as well do blue again. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Let me just think. I've actually got no good ideas now. This, this is weird. Um, do I know what these squares are somehow? Two, three, four, and nine? Does there have to be a nine in there? Surely there doesn't. If this is two, three, four, this is nine. These have to add up to 18. One of them is a one. Oh yeah, one of those is a one. No, that's 10. No, I don't think that's going to be hugely powerful. I might be missing something there, but I think there are ways to do this even without a nine down here. Well, it would then have one, two, three, and four in it. They would add up to 10. The other two digits would have to be an eight, nine pair to give us the 27 we need. Is there a reason if this is a six, eight pair, that would have to be eight. And there'd have to be a nine in one of these two squares. It would actually be useful. It would f fill some of this in. Okay, so that's... Oh, all right. So I do know what all these digits are by Sudoku. One, four, five, eight, nine. Now, can I do anything with that? Um, <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I can. I mean, I haven't pencil marked a two in this box. There's definitely a two in one of these squares, but that doesn't seem. Which means there's a two in the green galaxy. Is there a reason this can't be a two? This would be a one or a three. I don't know. That digit is in this cage, isn't it? So that digit is in one of those two squares. So it is in one of those two squares, but that seems completely legitimate from the pencil marking that we've got. Um, golly, sorry, I haven't got this at all, have I? I mean, there's a, there are some Sudoku tricks you can play those digits are all different digits. This domino at the bottom, or this domino here that I've got highlighted, you can see it sees the entirety of this cage. So I don't know if there's something I can... Maybe this, this, this was under a bit of pressure, wasn't it? So maybe that there was something more I could have extracted from this cage. Let's go through this again. We've got 11. We need 16 here. So if this is 7, these add up to 9. But they could be one eight or four five, I think. I mean, maybe I'll put them in one one eight or four five. If, on the other hand, 
this was five, we know that this is a four seven pair, so we can add seven to these. Okay, so this is the, this is the full panoply of digits. So there's actually, that's interesting. So three is not possible. Oh yeah, that's obvious. Because, because there's a three down here, we could never have had a three here. So three was always over here. So three is not up there. Oh, and this is a two three pair somehow by Sudoku, I suppose. Yeah, that's clever. That's clever. That was that that outfoxed me actually. That I just didn't see it. But now that might be useful because now I've got twelve here. So I need what? Fifteen here. So if this is an eight, I need seven more. And that would have to be a one six pair. pregnant pause I try and work out if that's impossible and I don't think it is impossible okay let's try it the other way then so this is 12 if this is 18 these are adding up to 9 oh that's rotten that's the same thing we get we had in that other cage that doesn't work at all because then these are either one these are either one eight or four five So there's a very, it's close to being something in this column, isn't there? But there isn't, it isn't quite there. Wow, okay. Now, what's it going to be then? I don't know. I haven't got a, I've got a Scooby-Doo, what I meant to do. I like that, and, and frankly, I don't mind that at all. It, it's very unusual to get a fog of war puzzle with these sorts, well, any fog of war puzzle where you just sort of, you're making merry progress and then you get completely and utterly stuck. Because there are so few places to look. I think this is one of the reasons people love fog of war puzzles is that they, you know, they really focus your attention on where we need to look. Um, is there some sort of, is there a rule I've not, you know, the sort of knight's move rule or something? I don't think so. I mean, the other thing that could have happened, and I, would, I wouldn't I would really have noticed it, is if there's something going on underneath the fog that I need to be aware of. I don't know. Where? Okay, I know that was a bad question I was about to ask. This is 489. No, still not got it. Come on, Simon. I will only be pleased if I eventually, if my brain eventually works out what it is I'm meant to see. One, four, five, eight, nine. And these, what were these? One, three, four, and six. I mean, it can't be. It's not going to be something to do with this galaxy or something, is it? Oh, that would be very clever if it's if it's something to do with a galaxy I have not put in yet I will be in awe of the puzzle That's, I mean is that possible I mean if there was a circle here this galaxy would look like that that would be quite interesting actually because then there would have to be a galaxy there which would be a big surprise It's getting that's that's actually getting quite difficult to believe. I mean, I could have a galaxy like this, and that would leave a galaxy like that, and that would allow a galaxy like this. That's more likely, I would suggest. Are there, are there any generic issues with the sum of the galaxies? Or it's not the case that this needs to have a six or an eight in it, is it? I'm sure it's not. Um, 
Is it... I don't know what this is, do I, somehow? <laughs> it's going to be something silly like that, or I know what this is somehow. I don't... Th I just don't think I do, though. This galaxy? I mean, these two obviously are in the same galaxy. We might as well make them purple to indicate we've understood that. They could, they're probably going to be a galaxy like that again. Or well, that could come down here. Mm, no, I don't really. Or is it this 6-8 pair somehow? This galaxy cannot have a 6 in it. I mean, that's a tiny deduction. That can't be it, can it? It's not difficult to make 27 in 6 cells. It's a very, you know, it's a very ordinary average that those six cells have to achieve. May, okay, maybe maybe it's better to ch think about it in terms of what's not in this galaxy then. Because the di by the secret, we know there are three digits not in this galaxy and they add up to 18 and they include six. So actually we do know that, um, we do know because the two digits that are the other two digits that are not in the galaxy add up to 12. They've either got to be 4, 8, 5, 7, or 3, 9. Now I do know that there is a 3 in this galaxy, so I've now worked out there is a 9 in this galaxy, which I definitely didn't know before. Does that do it? Does that, is that telling me something really crucial? I know this has a 9 in it. I know if it's got an 8 in it, that would have to be over here. So this would be 2, 3, 8. Then there would have to be a 4 and a 9 and a 1 in here. I guess the other thing, I do know there's a 1 in this galaxy as well, don't I? Oh, that's it. Wow, that's it. That's done it. Okay, there is a 1 in this galaxy, because the other two digits that are not in it besides 6 add up to 12. And now, if we do a careful count of columns 6 and 7, you can see we've got two 1s. One in here, and one in here. So how could this be a 1? If this was a 1, that would be a third 1 in just two columns of the grid. And that must break Sudoku, so that's a 5. Oh, didn't do anything, but it is a 5. Ah, no, it's much more important. This now can't be 1, 8, which was one of the options. So this has become 4, 5, 7, and that's giving us more digits. Wow, oh, hats off, Neurator. That was very clever. Oh, another galaxy has emerged. Um, that was very nice indeed. Now, what do we do now? The 5 in this box is in one of those squares, so that's not 5 anymore. In fact, there must be an 8 here, so there's definitely an 8 in there. Did we work out there was an 8 in here? We very much didn't, did we? Oh, it's quite hard for there to be 5 and 7 in here now, with this 5-7 pair. It'd have to be in here. Hmm, don't know. Okay, maybe we build this galaxy then. Uh, let's make that green as well. So you can see on its western side it must be bounded now that would make it too big this purple galaxy here cannot join this because it would be an eight cell galaxy at least so this is a different galaxy not sure what that means exactly um but I know this is four, five, seven, so I know these don't include four or eight now. So these are six and nine. So this is four and eight. There's no four at the top of the grid. They've become one and six. So these have become three and four. And now look, beautiful. There's no four in the green galaxy. So it's missing six, four and eight. So we might as well delete everything from it and put the other, put the digits we know it's got to have, which are these digits. And we know that these are not five and seven. Uh, or 1. Okay, so these are 1, 5, and 7. And now, look at that, we've got 7 digits approximately identified in this column. So this is a 2-9 pair out of absolutely nowhere. 
doesn't do anything for us, but it seems to be true. That's not five by Sudoku. Um, right, come on. How do we how do we make more progress now? I feel like I've almost exhausted all the rules or all of this all of the possibilities on the on the right hand side. Ah, oh, no, I haven't. More Sudoku to do, of course. Right, so they've become a one eight pair. Okay. This five is knocking five out of here. I think four five was one of the options we were considering for this this domino. Let's go. Let's revisit the maths for this. Oh, in fact, that can't be four either now. So okay. So if this was six, where are we looking then? Eighteen. These are adding up to nine, and they couldn't be four five anymore. So they would be one eight. So one option is that these are one eight. Now the other option is this is eight, and then these are adding up to seven, and they're one six, aren't they? Right, because they can't be two, five, or three, four. That gives me a one, six, eight triple in this column, a one, six, eight in a triple in this galaxy as well. But besides that, does it actually do anything? I don't know. I don't think so. Good grief. Yeah, I suspect I've missed, I've probably missed a very important point to do with this galaxy. I mean, it's got a one in it. That one is not here now. So there's definitely mm, it's a terrible pencil mark, which I still refuse to make. There is a one in one of those two squares. Ah, if I knew that wasn't a one, that would be useful. Oh, these have got to be consecutive. Right, that's not nine. That's not seven or five. There it is. There it is. So this is one. That's actually not going to be the one I was hoping for, but that's still very useful. Okay. That's cleared some fog. That, oh, this is the center of a galaxy. So these have got to be blue. And can we can't grow anymore, can we? There's nowhere we can grow with, and have rotational symmetry. So that's forced to be a galaxy. That has caused a galaxy to emerge down here, which must be rotationally symmetrical and not too big. So I think it's got to be that. There is no possible other galaxy that we could draw there. So that's a galaxy. Ooh, that's a slightly, <laughs> that's a slightly overzealously red galaxy. Um, this is an odd digit, I think the instruction said. So that is three. Oh, no, it's very restricted. It's three or seven. Seems to see all the other odd digits. It sees nine, sees one, sees five. So we've either got 14 here with these adding up to 13 which doesn't seem to be under very much pressure or we've got 18 with these adding up to 9 oh gosh that's that's not one okay i get the one in this box maybe that's going no that's not going to do anything okay but this has to grow there's no way it only grows to there because then this cell is a one cell galaxy so it definitely so those two are definitely green now we know the purple has to grow. I don't know whether that can really be purple. I mean, how could that be purple and us make this, this shape rotationally symmetrical and stay within the grid? That's impossible. I'm going to allege. Certainly it's impossible if you try and keep this down to a, a maximum seven cell region or six cell region, whatever we're meant to be working with. So this has to grow. This Could this add up to 27 in just four cells if it doesn't, doesn't have eight in it? The answer to that is no, I think. Oh no, it could. Bother. <laughs> it could. It could be five, six, seven, nine. And that would work. Uh, why doesn't that work? Um, don't know. But this can't grow anymore. That That's bounded on all sides. So we can fill that one in at least. These are consecutive, aren't they? So they need an odd digit in them. That can only be an odd digit if it is exactly equal to nine, which would make this eight. Might be possible. Don't know. Um, what about this galaxy then? That's got to be at least four cells. So we can start building this one. I don't think it's ever going to quite get to this green one. So green's probably a safe color for us to use. One by Sudoku is in one of those two squares. 
And that is valid box logic, but I still don't know whether it's there. If it's there, then that's a one. That might be possible, you know. I think we have to take our hats off to Neurator here as well. This is a very good puzzle. It's very surprising that it can... I mean, admittedly, I might have missed a couple of points or seeing a couple of things really quickly here. But... But it's still resisting, even though we've got a lot of things left it that we sort of filled in the grid. Hmm. So how there's a galaxy that I mean this cell has to be part of a galaxy. I mean I want to say that that is a forced galaxy here. Maybe that's not right. Um, yeah, I mean it's very hard for this to well this can't join to this because we can't make a rotational shape. So I think we can we can do that. And then we ask what galaxy this is part of. It must be at least part of a four cell galaxy. So this is part of a galaxy, which means this is all part of a galaxy. So let's fill that in and then ask, how does this galaxy grow and retain rotational symmetry? It simply can't. Now there is a nine in there because it's adding up to 27. Ah, the nine is not in these two squares. Again, this is sort of, looking at the logic around nines in these two rows. I know this domino has a nine. I know this domino has a nine. So if either of these were nines, that would be three nines in just two rows of the Sudoku. So there is no nine here. It's probably not massively useful though. Um, hmm. What about the rest of this? How are we going to tidy up the rest of these galaxies in a way where well, actually, there is a way I can see immediately. If that's purple and that's green, I could have another rotationally symmetrical galaxy right there. I mean, in fact, I, I, I believe at this junction or juncture, there is no, there's no other possible arrangement. There's not one I can see quickly anyway. So, hmm. No, there is, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain that's correct, but I'm not going to fill it in because I don't think it's going to help me. I suppose, oh, I'll tell you what would be a, very interesting is if I had to, if I had to use the fact that I suspected there was a dot, you know, in, so if my logic is correct, that needs to be the center of a galaxy. And that would make this square an odd digit, I think. Because, because for a single cell in this puzzle to be uh, a, a galaxy center, it needs to be the, the odd circle. But it's not under pressure in terms of, it's not seeing lots of odd digits. So is the same thing true here? This would be an odd digit. Again, it's not under pressure. That's really interesting though. I wonder if that will come into play later. Okay, so we've got to do more thinking. Um, okay, Simon, <laughs> how are we going to do this, this new thinking that you're, you're espousing? Do we get, uh, I don't know. Can I do this six and eight somehow? There's no sixes and no eights in he here because we've got six, eight pairs. Uh, can we, yeah, can we do Sudoku somehow? It's a six or an eight in some one of these squares. Feels like it must be. Oh, five, look, maybe it's five. It's, there's, a, there's a five in one of those three cells. Maybe we can't put five in here for some reason. What were the options here? A and O, five, four would work. Five, four would definitely work. And if we did three with five, 19, we probably need eight, which also works. So that's not it. Um, okay. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to spot something that's intelligent to tell you about, and I'm failing miserably. Where's six in this box? Is that a useful thought? 
don't think it is. Six is not there. This is four, eight. This is six, nine. I just don't think I can extract much more from the right hand side of this grid. It feels like it's the left hand side of the grid that's going to disambiguate the stuff on the right. Um, what do we know? Do I have any better idea of what this one, how this one works? If these added up to nine, then ten, and I need, oh yes, I needed the eight, nine pair in here, didn't I? Which would be an eight here and a nine in one of these. I don't think that's broken. It might be broken, but I can't see why. Is there a problem with an eight in this square? I don't know. Not sure. Uh, okay, well, let's try. Let's try. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to try. <laughs> Can we we can't say anything about this, can we? I can say it's got a consecutive pair in it. But that seems a highly underwhelming thing to observe. So maybe I, I mean, it would be incredible to me if I am meant to be. I mean, that... There's no way this can be in the purple galaxy. There is no way because there's no rotation that's possible that'll work. So these three are all part of a galaxy. We don't know exactly what its parameters are yet, but they're all part of the same galaxy. Because this can't join up to any other galaxy either, of, or any of the other existing galaxies, and there's no way we can put two new galaxies that are rotationally symmetrical into this shape. So I think that this now has to be purple. I just don't see how it cannot be. And this square has to be green. Which means these two squares are blue. And there, there we finished the galaxy collection that we've got to build. It could be math somehow, couldn't it? Is there some sort of... Oh, yeah, maybe this row. Yeah, okay, let's have a quick look at the top row. And see if that helps. So we've got 27, 35, which means these three digits add up to 10. There's no way that can be a 9. Ah, good. It is that. Oh, I, I love this puzzle. That's brilliant. It's quite brilliant. So actually what you have to do is you do have to finish the galaxies and then use maths on the top row to say, OK, these three digits add up to 10. Can that be a 6? No, because that's at least a 4 and that can't be a 0. So that's a 1. This is a six. Oh, it didn't clear any fog though. I hope that's right. Maybe I've already cleared some fog around. I suppose the eight and the five might have cleared the fog. Don't know. Uh, but these two squares now have to add up to nine. So they have to be five and four, don't they? So that's four, not clearing any fog. Okay. Slightly perturbed about that. That's a three, that's a three, that's two. That did clear fog. That's an odd digit. Oh, look, we could. maybe we could have, no, maybe I don't know if we could have got that. I didn't think about the fact that that would have to be an odd circle, but I think it could have been five until what we just did. So this is now nine. This is four. OK, well, that's something of a breakthrough. Yes. Oh, look, look at this. This white dot now has to have it's a consecutive pair of numbers. A consecutive pair of numbers is always going to include an odd number. And the only odd number we can include now is five and we can't put five there. So that's five. This is four or six. These two squares are somethings. They've got to be black dotable uh, without being three, six or one, two. So they definitely have a four on them. They're either two, four or they're four, eight. And that means this square is definitely a six. So that's six. That's eight. That's six. That's eight. And hopefully now we might be in better shape. So that this, in fact, therefore became a 2-4 pair. Um, these three digits are 2, 7 and 9, aren't they? Let's, oh dear, let's write that in and then we can think about whether we can Sudoku any of them. 
it, it appears not. <laughs> um, did this 6 8 resolution, does that 6 give me something? No. Does the 8, I now know there's an 8 over there. Can the 8 go in the blue cage? 19. Absolutely it can. Yeah, it would be 5 8 with a 3 here, I think. Right, so we still have thinking to do. Maybe, hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, we can't put, where does one go in row two? You can't put it in here because it'll accompany a two and a four and three of the digits. Oh no, that's fine, isn't it? No, it's fine. We'd only need the other three digits to add up to 20 and that's very possible. Um, I was thinking two of the digits would have to add up to 20 and that's that's a far harder thing to accomplish. So let's put the options in here. We've got one, seven, eight and nine. Now, if this wasn't a one, then we do have a lot of high digits in here. The minimum we could make these add up to, if this isn't one, the minimum these two can add up to is 15. 15, 20, 26 with two left. So this is a one. Okay, that's not the way round. I thought that was going to work, but it did, it, did, it did work. So these now become high. They definitely include an eight. So we've got three even digits in here. Um, that's interesting. No, it's not really. Um, okay, this is odd. Now, is that under any particular pressure? It's three, seven, or nine. feel like that's doing something. I just can't detect what. There's a six up here, isn't there? So maybe I've got to think about the options for these squares now. So if this was eight, nine, that would be 17, 23, wouldn't it? These would have to add up to four. They'd have to be a one, three pair. That's the only way that could work. Unfortunately, that looks like a way it will work. Okay, what about if this was nine? Oh, sorry, it can't be nine, seven. It could be eight, seven. 15, 21. These would have to add up to 6 and they would still include a 1. So they're either 1, 3 or they're 1, 5. They're defi oh, they've definitely got a 1 in. So that's a 1, that's an 8. Didn't clear any fog. So now there is an 8 in, in this cage. So we've now got 8, 9 for sure. If we had 7 as well, we'd have to have a 1 in here. And we can't. So this needs to be three in the middle of the grid. That's three, that's nine, that's nine, that's two. These squares now, I think, are a five, eight pair. Let's, I'm going to double check my maths on that. 12, 14, these need, need to add up to 13 and include an eight. So that's right. So that is not five. The rest of this box needs a four in it and a seven. That's, that feels like that should be resolved. I can't see how to do it. No. Okay. What about if this was 16? 16 and 12 is too many. So I can't make this a 7. This has to be a 4. This has to be a 7. That's a 5 at long last. And are we now... We might be getting there now. It feels suddenly like it's starting to yield, doesn't it? Uh, that's not 7. So in this column, we still need 2, 4 and 9. Let's actually pencil mark that in. That's... Okay, look at that. That's a two, three, four, nine quadruple within the purple galaxy. Now two, three, four, and nine add up to 18, plus the one is 19, so we still need another eight, and that eight does go there. Good grief. So that is the one after all this. And that's eight, and that's four. So that's not four, and that seems to be four in the red galaxy. It's not clearing any fog, but hopefully that's just because we've, we've already sort of done the foggy clearance in this part of the grid. Um, we can work out what these two squares have to add up to. So that's 16, isn't it? So these add up to 11, so that can't be 7, because that would need another 4. That's got to be a 2. That's now a 2. That's a 7 by Sudoku. Uh, and these corner digits are what? They're 6, well, it's 3, 6, 9, isn't it? 
so these can't include nine so these did become a seven eight pair in the end which means these have to be a one five pair we can take three out which we could have seen from here as well so that's seven that's four six seven eight into these squares oh <laughs> look we've got a circle here with nothing in it at all there you rotten thing you rotten thing um that's quite funny uh okay so what do we do now that digit has to appear in the bottom row somewhere so it is there isn't it, it removes the possibility of getting a three in the corner oh we still have one chance we still have one chance left okay so how does this finish now we're probably going to have to think about the maths of this aren't we we know there's a nine in here um oh it's going to be ambiguous i don't believe it yeah because it could be nine eight seven with a three or it could be nine eight six with a four okay so something else must resolve this ah but it always has eight in it is that the point yes it is okay so it has eight in it that gives us another couple of digits at the top that is clearing fog as well oh maybe well maybe it's this black dot it's not got four or eight on it so it's either a one two pair which it's not or it's a three six pair which it must be and that's got to be six and that's got to be three so that's six that's nine that's three that's two okay one five and seven into this row that can't be seven it would repeat in its in its galaxy <laughs> there's a one five pair in this column that's just doing me absolutely no good at all good grief okay um oh, ah. is it is, oh it's maths it's maths again on this column it's the same trick as we did in row in row one because those are 27 plus the eight is 35 so the rest of this has to add up to 10 and that can't be nine in the corner Ah, oh, but look if that's five does it get no it doesn't get too big good grief again there's different ways of doing this i think ah if that's six we need a one three pair that won't work i don't have that as an option so we do get a three in the corner that's three in the corner that's three in the spotlight losing its religion um okay so what's that oh, that's now a nine that's not a nine that's not a nine We've, oh this is quite an interesting digit that's got to be one two or five because it can't be three or four so the three and the four in this column have suddenly become incredibly restricted and that's got to be four that's got to be two that's got to be three and hopefully now that's not four look by sudoku We've got two nine pairs so that has become four that's three which means we need it we need the um the big digit don't we in order to make the maths work on that box that's now a four this is a something still don't know <laughs> um oh but didn't we work out which digit oh this is a five by the maths of this column so that's probably going to finish it there we go five two two nine five seven that's now a one this is a nine in the corner and if we haven't made a ricket that's a seven that's a quality puzzle yes wow that took me a lot longer than i was expecting that's brilliant it's really brilliant 278 people in 16 days so a lot of people have got through that it's really uh, it's a testament i think to where the world of sudoku is at the moment i did not find that straightforward there were a couple of points where i was like what on earth am i missing look at some of these quadruple clues as well that one's totally blank that one's all but blank that one is all but blank so this one was totally misleading you sort of thought if you if you managed to get a bit of quadruplage you would be good to go but it isn't it clever that you actually had to you had to complete the galaxies and then use the maths in order to whittle down it i mean there may be it may well be actually that i've missed a bit of sudoku or something or some trickery that would have got me through that um more quickly 
I don't know. I don't know. That It felt like a really brilliant step, that row one. It really did. I really liked the fact that you could basically prove that that digit couldn't belong to a galaxy beneath it. And from there, that, that then forced... Was it this digit? I can't remember which digit it was. I think it removed the digit from the corner. Neurator, take a bow. Your cosmic balance, it, 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 is, it is a powerful thing, my friend. Loved it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.